Oh my God. Today is one day pre-operation. I still feel kind of shitty. My, my butt is really the only thing that hurts a lot. And then I'm bleeding a lot. So I'm like losing a lot of energy, but I have a checkup today and my mom's gonna come and help. And then also, I'm gonna try to make it to the bathroom. Oh my God. So, I'm just checking in you guys because I haven't yet. So I'm about to see if I can get up now. I have to get up and then sit on a bed for at least 60 seconds so I don't get lightheaded. But normally I sit on the bed for two minutes because my head will be spinning and stuff. And it's a lot of blood, so if you guys don't want to see this, you probably should click off. Because I'm bleeding a lot. I'm fucking, oh, I'm fucking. You want to say something? My lips is white. Is that blue or white? Damn. It's because I'm not hydrated, I don't think. They not neither one. You got a line on your face from where you've been sleeping at. The camera's on recording. You gonna say something? I'm hurting. I'm here for my first checkup. Why are you so close? Because I was just I right here. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I'm not trying to sit down. Don't sit down. I'm telling now. Oh. I'll get you from the side. Massage and my first checkup because I haven't seen my body, so they're gonna take off with the stuff. So I can sit right underneath. Are you recording? Yeah, you know, yeah. red dot on, yeah. Oh, okay, you know, mm -hmm. Mama Glam on the camera, y'all. Y'all, Mama Glam is embarrassed by her actions yesterday. I really am. I apologize. I told y'all that's just how she is. No, then they're gonna get mad at me and come stop like that is not your mom. Why would I get a fake mom for this? She had me. I did have her. It was a long time ago. I was a good child. I never really got in trouble. Nope, you didn't. And I didn't get BNT. You didn't. It was very good. You were. It is stuff I did though. Maybe I should tell you. What? I did one bad thing, but she didn't catch me. I don't wanna know. Really? Okay. Who was it? You really want to know? No, not really. Okay. Is it bad? Kinda. I don't want to know. Why? I'm grown now. I don't want to know. I'm grown now. <laughs> I need a little makeup on No, she come on her channel quick. I need a camera. You do? I'm going to get you one. Don't get me one. Why not? Because then I'd be forced to use it. Yeah, and then you can make a channel, then we can be like a mom and daughter thing. With a mom and daughter tag. I got the same nasty clothes. Y'all should see. Y'all, like this dress was white. Y'all probably be playing stuff. But my butt, y'all, look at it. That butt out there. Girl, look at my butt. Sheesh. You done? Yeah. All right. You look cute. Thank you. Congratulations. To all Glamazon T's subscribers, I just want to let you guys know that that video that she posted is not the normal mama glam i'm more chilled out i was a little under stress and direct okay just give me all public service announcement thank you very much that's a public service announcement yep you want all this nasty i'm gonna get over here so i'm not in the mirror Say what? Then you got our last Why well, I got the bag? It'd be alright. Massager? Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. No. I'm sorry. Why is that yes? <laughs> because yeah. I can't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Take yourself. Address? You got a yes, you have a bruise. I didn't think they even tell them I still. 
que when you clean the drain, you put the drain squeezy. ¿Quién es? Yo. Es de Medical Assist. Hello. Hey. How are you doing? Hey. Don't want to be there. Hey, me either, my love. So you can record the hair with the masseuse. How are you? How are you feeling? I don't think it's a phone. I don't know why it's even. I'm still hurting. Okay, well, that is expected. How many days? Just one? Mm -hmm. Yesterday? Yeah, of course. You're going to be sore for a few days and weeks. So we're going to give you the post up instructions in a piece. No, not right now. You need to drink a lot of fluids, okay? Yeah. What kind of fluid do you recommend? Water. Okay. You can also drink pineapple juice. Okay. Because the pineapple is making me a little sick. You can drink uh, papaya juice. Papaya? Yes. Okay. But water is the best. Okay. Also, I'm on my period. Or it just came on. Okay. Yeah, sometimes that's usually normal when you got the surgery. Right so should I like um, put underwear on with my fire or just try to put the pad inside or what do you think? You can put the pad and then you can put the underwear right on top of your garment, not underneath. Okay. Mm. You need to walk every two hours for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. Each time, okay. What if I start feeling dizzy? Keep walking or try try to have someone with you all the time. Okay. If you feel dizzy, you can have a break and, and then, then you know again. start over again. Yes. Okay. Drinking fluids is the key for that. Okay. You need to drink a lot of fluids, and the dizziness is is gonna improve. Okay. And try to eat solids, real food, not diet now. Okay. A lot of proteins. Okay. Any other questions? Not really. So she's gonna be bringing you the post-op instructions in a paper. Okay. So you can take them home with you. Gotcha. All ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Busy. Mom. Yo. Okay, you guys. So hey. Basically. What's going on today is you guys seen that I got my first um pretty much my first checkup and they said that everything looked pretty well. And then I got the massage, but the massage really didn't hurt. It hurt a little bit, but it didn't hurt. So like on a scale of one to ten, hurting the worst at ten, it probably was like a good a good five. Like, some parts of it hurt and some parts of it didn't. You have to figure my body is, like, really discolored right now and purple because it's, like, bruised. So, with it being bruised and then you pushing on my bruises to push the fluid because I actually have a drain. So, I have a drain. So, they're pushing the fluid towards my drain so it can push out of my body. So, I'm actually, like, a lot more smaller than what I look like because... Technically, I'm swollen and I have a lot of fluids inside of me. Um, okay. So I'm just sitting here right now. This lady came and picked up my fire, so I'm just sitting in my robe naked, which kind of feels pretty good, but I know I have to put the fire back on as soon as it comes. But the fire like compresses my body a lot. So, like, right now, without the faha, I feel pretty comfortable. But with the faha on, my, I'm not going to lie, my butt does start, like, to hurt. Um, not really in that much pain, though. Even with the faha on, like, after I get, like, a little used to it, after, like, the first five minutes down, I'm like, okay. Because it's like, I have a high pain tolerance, and I don't think people really understand it, but I do. Um, so far, so good. Everything is okay. The only thing I'm noticing is like, I don't know, I guess I'll say that for my main video, but it's just a lot going on here, honey. And I have to spill this tea because honestly, I'm kind of like over it a little bit on the bullshit tape. But um, now I'm able to walk around by myself, 
I had my first shower today. So basically my surgery was yesterday. So I have my shower today. And I was able to shower myself and stand up and stuff. Um, so that was pretty okay. So literally, yeah, so literally I'm able to do a shower. I eat solid foods. I don't eat like soups and shit. Like I can really eat solid foods. Um, the food they brought me yesterday was kind of nasty. So I didn't eat neither one of them, which is kind of bad. But I tried to double up on my juice because I didn't eat the food. And then, what else? I'm trying to think what else. Um... I'm walking around like before I wasn't really walking, but now I almost feel like more comfortable when I'm walking. Like laying down is uncomfortable to me a little bit. But then again, I just don't want to be out there randomly walking around like for 45, 50 minutes. But I kind of feel a little bit more comfortable when I'm like walking. It just makes me feel like better. The drain does better because the drain is like where my stomach is. So the drain literally is flushing out. Um, I think the next couple of days are probably going to be pretty repetitive. Me laying in the bed, me, um, going to get massages and that's pretty much it because it's nothing really to do now for them, but them to sculpt my body. And I I know a lot of people was like, oh, you're going to have loose skin. Um, number one, I won't because I asked the doctor and the doctor straight told me I never had kids before. And even so my stomach is not really, it was never like humongous and so basically if I wear my garment and do what I'm supposed to do probably in about six weeks my stomach should be really tight just because it's never been stretched out like when you have kids your stomach is actually stretched to a certain extent you have to think about it. I never really had nothing never had kids never really had my stomach stretched out an abundant amount so it's really not gonna take much for it to go back um it is a lot of negative comments but I really don't have too much to say to that because I really don't care like I feel like by the time y'all seeing these videos the videos have already been up <laughs> and the surgery has already been way done so technically everybody that's watching the videos are like days behind because these stuff already went down like I deliberately posted everything late on purpose so I didn't really have to hear nobody else's opinions because it didn't really matter um I'm trying to debate on how I want to do my before and afters. I know a lot of people are really excited to see it, but I just feel like if it's going to bring so much negative energy, is it even worth me doing it? Because it's things y'all don't know that I know about my body and things that happen to my body that y'all don't know that I know. Y'all have never seen me naked and y'all never seen certain things. And also just because someone gets plastic surgery doesn't mean they hate themselves doesn't mean they were like really that unhappy with their other body the reason i end up getting this which i don't owe nobody explanation but i was happy with my other body to the point where it was like i felt like i could move on to another body and that's what i did it wasn't like oh i hate my body i'm just so ashamed of my body i'm not gonna do bikini trial hauls because i was still doing bikini trials i was still doing all that it was just i wanted to change I'm entitled to a change. I pay for it for my own money. I ain't asked nobody to help me, so I can do what I want. But, um, whatever. But anyway, everybody that was supporting me, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I do. And y'all checking on me. Um, but that's pretty much it. Nothing going on. So let me know if y'all still want me to do constant updates because, like I said, it's probably going to get pretty repetitive. Just me getting massages and me dumping my drain um not less it's like of course i would show y'all at the end but like when i'm leaving like the last very last checkout when they take out the drain and all that stuff so yeah just let me know but i'll see you guys bye Can you play with me yeah mm -hmm. you want the people buy first mm -hmm. Hold on. Let me zoom out for me. Rainbow. Hey, Rainbow. Hey, Rainbow. You, Rainbow. Oh, yeah, I'm Rainbow. Everybody say you're so cute. Yeah, I'm so cute. What you say? Thank you. I love you. Bye-bye. Aw. Bye-bye.